Hi everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Tuesday's Tank. Today I'm gonna to be going over my 20 long. This is where I keep my angel fry. I have, uh, the parents are very good parents and they're over here breeding still, and there's some more on the slate and I'll show you them next Tuesday maybe. But right now we're gonna go over this 20 long. Come take a look. So this is where I house baby angelfish that have outgrown the breeding tank. The parents are very good breeders and I'll show you those in a little bit. And they take care of them, but it's a small tank. And they have eggs on a slate. They have free swimmers and they have baby angels. So I take the adolescents out. Adolescents out. <laughs> oh, there they go. Let's see if we can see a couple of them in there. I have a little bias, but I have nothing but gorgeous. I hope you can see them in there. There's probably about 10 or 15 in here. Not big enough to take to the uh, fish store yet. But I'll take them to the fish store. I'll take them to my Bucks County Aquarium Society for their main auction in May. In this tank, I got one huge sword plant, which I love. I try not to disturb it because I just love the size of it. And underneath that is a little um, coconut cave that there's a blue-eyed lemon pleco in. I doubt he'll come out to the camera. He's just... He's a male. He's old enough now where I could tell that he's a male. And I would love to breed him. I want to find a, a female blue-eyed lemon. Over here on the bottom left-hand corner, I have Dragonstone. I just put a couple in there because I was going to attach some Anubias to it. And I didn't. I have the Anubias floating in another tank right now. I have a, a lava rock there as well that was a little tiny snail attached to it. A little bit of Java fern. It looks like there's not doing so good. A little bit of java fern on it. But I'm going to be tying some. I have an, an Anubius Nana Petite. And there's one of the mystery snails I have back in the corner. He's black. Oh, look it. My blue eye pleco came out for the camera. Let me see if I can zoom in. I like him a lot. I, can you see why I want to breed him, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I'm so happy that he came out for the video. I have a sponge filter in almost all my tanks, if not one, two. This tank just happens to also have a little tiny, it's like a sponge filter, I guess, but it's in an encasement that it gives me a little bit more water flow on that end of the tank so that there's constant water flow. I just think he's gorgeous. I love the plecos. Look at his finish. Oh. Yes. And I have a lot of mom in here and I got and I don't I clean the tank out and do the water changes all the time, but I try not to keep it too clean because when they're babies, they're still when I put them in here, they're still very finicky on what they eat and what they don't eat. So I always know that they can graze on stuff in this Java moss here, which is about a year old, it started off the size of a nickel, and now it's about the size of a softball. And I got some crypts over here. I thought it was a good idea to put this wood in here as decoration, but it's just horrible to clean the tank with that. I, I might have to re-escape. Re oh, there's several of them. Yep, so the breeders, if I can, I'll show you. Their tank is really dirty, though. Um, I can't clean it while they have eggs on a slate because as soon as I stick the hose in, they eat all the eggs. So I let them sit in the, their water. And once they're free swimming, then I can start changing the water again. But I've learned this is like their 10th spawn. So this is my... 20 long. So now I have a, over 30 tanks. I'm not sure how many I have, but as I do this series, I'm going to keep track of them and count them. And I want to go over a tank a week with you guys. I'd love to hear your suggestions or feedback. I'm very new to the hobby, and I'm not sure. Like I'm very open and receptive to feedback. Um, and that's why I like the fish fam so much. They give me feedback. They don't, they're not like fish police. <laughs> so, and you guys know who you are. You guys rock. But this is my 20 long. 
that sits on the bottom, just to put it in perspective, that sits on the bottom of the shelf of my all my nano tanks. So got shrimp and endler, bettas and more shrimp, shell dwellers and betta. So this is one little shelf in my bedroom. Oh yeah, this is the one I wanted it to begin with. And to be perfectly transparent, it's the one I cleaned last night. So I, it was all settled this morning and it looks a lot better than it did yesterday. So I thought, let me take this opportunity to at least record this. So this is gonna be my first uh, Tuesday's Tank episode. Hopefully in a series for the whole year. All right, stay tuned. Oh, if I do it for the whole year, that means I need to get about 20 more tanks. Darn, I think I could do that though. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, so if my fiance is watching or my children are watching, I'm only kidding. I'm not getting 20 more tanks. I was just doing that for my YouTube video. You believe me? <laughs> Thanks for joining this week for my Tuesday's tanks. Join me next week and we'll go over another tank. Thanks.